Hi, beautiful people. It's a marvelous Monday. Good to be with you. Thank you for dropping by on Success Is You. Really believe that. Really striving to live that every day. Not so much striving as much anymore anyways as opposed to just being. So I wanted to chat with you today about something that, well, might be contentious depending on who you are or how you're listening. For me, it is no longer contentious. So I'm going to share it with you. Um, so I'll start off from this particular point is whenever we want to become better at something, whenever we want to become good or great, we look for mentors, models of greatness around us for that particular task, that particular role, that particular whatever it is, skill, um, capability, what have you. We look for those models and we stay connected to them in one way, shape, or form so that we could almost be inspired by them. And so I wanted to talk today about our individual greatness. And I'm going to start on the premise that, you know I always say this, that you and I are made from this stuff stars are made of, which means... That's not stars, I guess everything that is created. The architect of the universe created you and I to be absolutely fantastic, to be wonderful, to be supreme as he is. He or she, spirit has no sex, um, in the world. Now, please hear me. I'm not saying that we are as the architect of the universe in fullness. I mean, we are the architect of the universe, and the drops that we are. Yes? Okay. So there. I'm not blaspheming, I'm not doing anything like that. Okay. So you know greatness is relative. I'll tell you what was a struggle for me. And I imagine in some ways it's similar for some of you. Which is somebody says something to you and you get upset. Not because so much of what they said, but that you saw yourself getting upset upset and couldn't stop it. You're just like, why did I get upset at that? I, ugh, this thing gets under my skin. And for me, being great is allowing people to be without entering into the drama of how they're being. Because we're all kind of discovering who we are in one way or another. You know, you. You discover through what one might call good and bad. So at one point in my life, I used to be in every story, every drama. And I liked it and I hated it. I liked the excitement of it, but I hated the gunkiness of it. It was too gunky and it really got all over you and you felt like you always wanted to take a shower. A proverbial shower of sorts from all the drama. And then I realized that I didn't want drama anymore. To the core, core, core of me, I no longer wanted it. I no longer cared for it. I no longer thought it was appealing. I really felt like I could cover my face and just do without it because too much drama. And that was just part of my journey. So whoever was great, probably looking at me and thinking, mm, she's going to get to the point where she no longer wants the drama and things will be different for her. And it is. Why am I saying all of this? I'm saying all of this to say that many times you and I resist the thought of becoming great because we think it's not possible. And if, yes, you and I stand in shoes that says we are this or we are that, uh, which is contrary to who we really are, we will not ever think greatness is possible. Hear me again. Please listen to what I'm saying. A friend of mine said to me, I noticed you have much, much, much more joy now. And I really want to know how you did it. And it's not special. 
because we're all made by the architect of the universe, we're not special in that regard. We all have greatness in us because the architect of the universe places a mark of universality in us. And that makes us divine creatures that can do marvelous and wonderful things like forgiving people, like letting things go, like just smiling for absolutely no reason, just to be happy, to let people be, to not want to control your life or theirs or things, uh, places or people or stuff. Um, to know the difference between something that is temporary and something that is permanent. To let go of what is temporary and only hold fast to what is permanent. To know that change is constant and just live. To not be angry for no reason. I'm not saying that I do these things perfectly, but you and I are perfect. Something we resist saying because we have this notion of what perfection should be. But you and I are already perfect as we truly are. Not what we do, not our roles, not parent, lover, husband, spouse, teacher, grandparent, child. Not those roles that we do, but who we truly are. Our identity with the greatest supreme intelligence there is in the universe. Think about that for a moment. That you and I have DNA that belongs to supreme intelligence. You and I have DNA that belongs to the architect of the universe. Isn't that just fabulous? It is. So, do not stand in the place that is saying to some part of yourself or your anatomy that you are not great, that you are not perfect, that you are not... You say, but stuff is happening and I'm in drama. Remember that drama you talk about? I'm in it. It doesn't change the fact that you are still great. It just means that... Uh, you're focused differently. And today I want to encourage you to focus on the fact that you and I have DNA that belongs to supreme intelligence. That belongs to the architect of the universe. That belongs to God. You and I are made that way. We have the ability to be absolutely great. We have the ability to live in love, to know love, to be happy, to know happiness. The reason we're always dissatisfied with anything that isn't that for us is because we intuitively know that it is possible, that it is real, and it is somewhere inside of us. I'm not talking about the times when we feel so beaten by stuff or life or um, depending on how we're looking at things. We could see things skewed. We'll think they are against us when they really have come for us. We'll think they uh, come to destroy us when they've been served with love. Today, I want you to think about that DNA that's in you. That makes you great. Makes me great. That's why it's possible for us to have a great world. Because as you turn on your greatness and I turn on mine, pretty soon, collectively, we'll have a great world. I'm not talking about a monochrome existence. You can see life is very diverse. We'll be diverse. But the commonality of who we are, belonging to supreme intelligence, I'm looking forward to seeing how that looks right here on Earth. Are you? Think about it. Think about your DNA. Success is you. Have a really fantastic day, you perfect being. God bless you. Bye.